What's up, YouTube? It's Sebastian here. I've got my monster. It's freaking lit, but I actually spilt it a second ago. But what I basically want to discuss in this video is something that a lot of people have been asking me, and it's a simple question, but it's a kind of complex answer, and so that's why I'm making a video on it. It's how do you run a Shopify store if you're under 18, if you, you know, don't have a, or yeah, we will just start there. If you're under 18. So a few things you have to notice. Shopify doesn't allow payments to go through to a bank account that's under 18 or that a person who's under 18 own, um, individually owns. They don't, sorry, I, you know, the monster. Um, and as well as when you receive payments with PayPal, PayPal doesn't allow anyone under 18 to run a PayPal and you'll have to verify. So that's like, there's no way getting around of that unless you're, gonna take the advice I'm giving you. And before we kind of get into this, I want you guys to understand, I'm not legally, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, I don't have all the, I don't have any credentials to actually like give you guys advice and say follow this to the T. I'm just basically explaining what I'm currently doing, what I've done in the past and how it's worked for me. And you guys can take my advice from it or you cannot. Um, just, you know, that I just kind of had to make that little disclaimer so you guys understand that. Or so I'm not, you know, caught in any, trouble legally in the future if this you know anything happens but all right let's get into this so basically you guys have to understand again we're not legally allowed to you know individually run a paypal individually run a, a shopify store individually run a bank account that's linked to shopify none of that we can individually do and keep in mind i'm saying individually so there are a few ways that i've kind of found out to let me adjust this a little a few ways that i've found out how to kind of get around that and they may they're a little tricky well not tricky but they're a little gimmicky i guess that i'm actually how i'm doing it but it's worked for me i haven't had any troubles it's working for me and maybe it will why it will work for you guys but um you know again like i said be like do it at your own risk again i'm not legally allowed to give you guys you know i'm not legally allowed to say what you can and can't do like for i don't know business re tax reasons i don't know I'm, i just want to make sure that i'm putting out that that out there but basically how i did this so with my shopify store it's basically set up as my parents account but what i'm doing is i'm basically just managing the account and doing all of the work for the business and therefore i'm collecting all of the rewards for the business with my paypal account it's my parents paypal and i'm just you know managing the funds putting them into each bank account and stuff like that and i did, i'm the only one who uses the paypal really i mean my parents don't really ever use it but that is how I take care of that side. So now I can collect PayPal payments and if they want me to, um, you know, verify that it's actually me, I can actually send in my parents, you know, uh, what is it, social security or business, uh, or not business, um, ID and stuff like that. Um, I've already done that because I've had this PayPal for years, so that's taken care of. Um, and understand, if you guys do set up a PayPal and you're under 18 and they ask you to verify and you don't, they'll lock your, they'll lock the money in your account. Like they locked a thousand dollars of my own money in my account like a year ago when that was like all I had and it sucked completely. It shut down my business for like a few weeks and mentally shut me down. So it kind of sucked. But, and that was when I was buying and reselling iPhones like heavy, heavy, heavy. Like that's all I, that was my only source of income. But another thing that you have to keep in mind, um, your bank account can't be a, an individual who's under 18. It, yes, it can include that, which is what we're gonna get into, but you can't just go to the bank, have a high school checking you know, account set up and then run it and expect to receive payments. I mean, yes, you may, but if, you, if they ask you to verify or anything, you'll be screwed because you're under 18. So how we do this? Basically, the same person that you're using to have your Shopify linked and your PayPal linked, you go and create a joint bank account with your, you know, whatever parent or, you know, brother or sister that is. So I've created a joint bank account with my mother. So now she's on the account and I'm on the account. For legal reasons, I'm now allowed to run the money from Shopify to my bank account or from PayPal to that bank account all the time. And then I have another personal account that I basically just grab the funds from and put it to another one. Um, that's like for when I need payment, like, you know, my hundred dollars every single week, cause that's what I give myself no matter how much I make, whether it's a thousand dollars in a week or $10,000 in a week, I only put a hundred dollars in my bank account, um, for me to spend. Cause I'm only 17. I don't need to spend that much, but that is seriously how I'm taking care of all this stuff and how I'm honestly able to, you know, run a Shopify store under 18. A lot of people don't understand that, you know, you have to do those things and take those precautions because I mean, for me, I didn't know I was going to make thousands of dollars, you know, weekly with my Shopify store. So now that like, I'm, th I'm very thankful that I've actually taken care of this stuff, you know, pre, you know, pre making all the money and not after, because after that could have, it could potentially screwed me. I mean, if I had all the money sitting there and it was in a PayPal account that was, you know, not even legally allowed to be ran by me, 
I would have been screwed. So, you know, if you guys have not, you know, done this and you're under 18 and you guys are want to start Shopify or you're already starting Shopify, seriously, I would suggest, I mean, if you guys aren't too ahead or anything, or even if you are, just redo a Shopify account and restart it as your parents and a PayPal account as, you know, like I explained in this video and do all that stuff. And just to be safe because you never want to, I mean, it would suck having your business get shut down just for something as small as that. Um, and so this is kind of just my advice. Um, a little, a few things that I would recommend. The bank I use, I use Chase Bank. Um, I just got a withdrawal, so here's a little envelope. I use Chase Bank. They're freaking awesome. I love them. Um, they made it super simple for me to uh, actually go and you know get a get a joint account with my parents and stuff like that. And no, I'm not affiliated by Chase. That would be awesome if they you know hit me up with that affiliate marketing though or that affiliate program though no i'm just kidding but that's you know that's kind of the bank i use or that is the bank i use and you know again they're very simple to use and to work with so it's awesome but yes this is basically just a video on how to run a shopify store if you're under 18 and how to take care of all the legal aspects of it as far as you know the getting around not you know how you're not allowed to run a paypal account under 18 how you're not allowed to send payments to a bank account on shopify if you're under if the bank account owner is under 18. so that's basically it for this video if you guys do want to check out shopify my link is in the description and you guys can you know click that use that you get a 14 day free trial and it's freaking awesome shopify is awesome seriously shopify dropshipping has changed my life it's insane the numbers like I've hit and I don't know it's just it's awesome I love the concept of not having much money or not having to have much money and making it to a lot I mean my first day I hit I had $47 in my bank account I put in $10 or $7 in an influencer promotion and then I turned that into $533 in my first day just with you know influencer marketing and Shopify dropshipping now those results may not happen to you right away but if you you know stay consistent it will happen eventually so Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm posting content as fast as I possibly can, which is, I'm trying to do one a day, and I'm gonna be hopping on live stream tonight, later. I'm going to see the movie It. It's freaking, it's about to be so scary, but once I come back, I'll hop on live stream for, you know, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. So that will be awesome. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Again, if you guys have not started Shopify yet, why are you waiting? Like seriously. We're so blessed with the opportunities we currently have. I don't know why people push things off. So again, if you want to get started, links in the description. Yes, it's my affiliate link, but you know, who cares? Everyone's, I mean, why not? If you're already going to start, why not use my link? So other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you guys tonight. See ya and peace. Everything changes.